All right, so this is Mousetrap Car 2.0 uh, help video. Uh, I'm gonna go over a little bit of some tips in the engineering section and then, you know, reminding you to always check outputs and why that's important. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with engineering. So if we look over here, we have our options. We have a chassis, front axle assembly, rear axle assembly and then your mousetrap assembly okay if you want you can go ahead and push the eyeball on all of those to kind of see what the default looks like okay you can then go to chassis and this is where we are going to choose which type of car that we're going to build okay now physically we're going to be building our own custom version and that's what this video is i'm going to walk you through how to do that you're also digitally going to build, you're going to build this custom one, you're going to build a touring one, which has to do with distance, and then you're going to build a separate rally one uh, that I'll, I'll have different specs for. Uh, but we're going to start with this custom one so I can show you some of the tools and some tips over here on what to change and, and why. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and as as with all of our projects we always want to look at our outputs to see what we're out of spec on so we need to go to outputs design specs and see where we are and there's five things here that we need to fix in order to be in spec remember just being in spec doesn't mean that it's perfect it just means that you're within those boundaries okay so the first thing, because we're building our custom one and that's what this video is on, I'm gonna I'm kinda just walk you through it, okay? Frame length, that's the first thing that I wanna change. Right now we're designed, it's designed at 304.8. We gotta get that down to about 205 millimeters, okay? So we're gonna go back to engineering. We're only gonna be worried about the length. This is under chassis, okay? Under chassis, um, which is like the base of your car. Make sure that it's on custom. So not rally, even though we're building a custom rally car, we need to make it custom. We're going to go to length and we need to hit 205. Okay. And hit apply. Now that looks stupid right now and <laughs> it looks goofy, but we're going to fix it and it'll, it'll end up looking all right. All right. So uh, let's head up back to outputs. Let's make sure we're good there. Yeah. So we're good on length. And now we need to get our frame width down to 46 millimeters and right now it's set at uh, 76.2 so back to engineering frame width that's gonna be under chassis make sure you're still under custom you're gonna drop down over here to, to where it says width and then you're gonna do 46 apply and let's double check let's go to outputs and make sure that's okay Okay, so we've taken care of that all right and now we want to worry about the total width now the total width has to do with it includes your axles and it includes your wheels now i'm going to tell you that we don't we haven't bought these wheels these whatever these are called the ones that we purchased were the front racers and then the rear racers so let's just focus on our rear axle assembly so that we can change these okay now when you're building your own digitally just for fun or um, trying to get into spec then you can use whatever wheel you want but when we're this is specific to the car that we're going to build so you're going to have to change the this for this video okay so you're going to come over to this this okay so you clicked on rear axle assembly and you can change up your your materials here however you want that's up to you okay um and your bearing if you want to change up your bearing you can mess with that later but for right now we need to change this wheel so we can at least get into spec all right the ones that we bought like i said were the front racers and the rear racers so i'm gonna hit rear racers i'm gonna hit apply and then if we go back to outputs we should be looking okay all right, we only have one more thing to change and that's wheelbase. But while we're on the topic of wheels, I'm gonna go back to engineering and I'm gonna say this is really, really important right here. Rubber band. You gotta have the rubber bands on there in order to uh, help with friction, okay? If not, it's just gonna spin out and it's not gonna move anywhere. So make sure you have the rubber bands. You will be putting rubber bands on these when we build them too, okay? So rubber bands back here and hit apply or done. And then you want to do the same thing for the front. So if you go to front axle assembly, 
you want to hit uh, rubber band. Okay, you're already on front racers. So hit rubber band, hit apply, and done. Okay, so the I think the wheelbase was the other one out of spec. I'll look at that in a second. Another thing you might want to worry about are look how long those axles are. That looks kind of dumb. So you you know you, you can reduce some mass by taking care of um, shrinking those axles down. And so if you're wondering how to do that, you just go to you pick whatever. We're gonna work on the front axle. So we'll click front axle assembly, and then you can just change that here. Okay, that's the axle length. And so I don't know. I mean, maybe you want to do like a 70. Apply. And that looks alright for the front. And then the back. Hit rear assembly. And axle length. Let's just keep it consistent and, and do 75. You can do a little bit more with that if you want. That's up to you. I'm just kind of trying to make it look a little bit more like a mousetrap car. Um Okay, the let's go back and get our uh, let's get our car inspect. We're one more away. Alright, so we're looking at wheelbase is the last thing. It's set at 155. We need to get it to 130. So go back to engineering. Go to front axle assembly. Wheelbase is right here. And you're gonna uh, put 130. And apply. And let's go back to outputs. We should be in spec. Everything looks good. Now, again, this is not the best. This is just the bare minimum. There are some things you need to change if you're going to do good in this competition area. Okay? If you recall, if you go back into the research and you look up lever arm, it's going to talk about the purpose of the lever arm and then the effect of the length of the lever arm. So down here, there's an engineering tip and it talks about right here, talks about, um, you know, essentially for speed, you're going to want a certain length. And for distance, you're going to want a certain length. I'm not going to tell you what that length is. You can read about it right here. And you can even manipulate this right here in order to better understand that. Okay. So if your objective is speed, right there is what you're going to want to read. Use the slider to figure out where, what type or how long you want your lever arm to be. Okay. And... You go back to engineering just a couple things um, you can change the colors of stuff you know if you want to customize it a little further so just you know look for that um, and you can change the color of your chassis too um, I don't know really what color I'm just messing around so um, you can do stuff like that this is you know again this is the video that is specific to the car that we're gonna make in class remember you can also adjust where the um where the or this is the lever arm length so after you go back and figure out what type of lever arm you want you can change um change the lever arm to whatever you want you can make it longer you can make it shorter um it's up to you okay so figure out where you would like that to be placed in order to have a faster uh, you know the fastest car available when you so getting off of the custom one, we're gonna move on to these others real quick. I'm just gonna say when you're making a touring car, you're gonna have to you're gonna have a whole new set of specs. And I will tell you that you're gonna want your wheels to be um, the CDs. And hit apply. You're gonna want to do that for both of them. Okay, um, there's a reason for that. It's in the research. But again, I don't want to give you too much information because like the only one I'm really trying to give you a bunch of information on is this custom one because of the fact that we are making this for our, this is the physical build. And I want to make sure you guys are, are good to go on that. Okay, so um, again, you're going to have, you're going to have to make basically three different cars. So there'll be three different days that we set specs up okay so this is just basically a, an overview I hope it helped uh, I know it wasn't the smoothest one but you know I'm just trying to trying to make a video for each one of these so that way if you have questions and I can't get to you right away you can at least 
go and kind of refer back to this. All right. So I hope this helped and that'll be it for this video. All right.